guys, how's it going? It's a height here, and we're back with a brand new episode of One More Island. And in the last episode, we got a little bit of stuff set up. We set up our tool factory and stuff like that. Coal mining, iron mining. I can't remember if we set up the cider farm there or not, but I've been doing a little bit of searching in a separate, um... In a separate save, just to try and figure out a little bit more of the mechanics of this game. Now, let me just... I want to get rid of a bunch of trees, because we're going to need some room to expand. Now, in today's episode, I think I want to start cleaning up a little bit of our base. And reorganizing things, we can say. I'm not super happy with how sloppy things are. I mean, these tree farms kind of just doing whatever they want. That's got to go this wheat farm that's just kind of scattered wherever I could fit it that's gotta go I mean it's not a bad idea to have a wheat farm just kind of filling up useless space but I don't want it I don't want this this is just gross so before we go and get rid of that I need to find a new spot for it and the other thing is guys we're clearly making way too many apples like, we're just making too many, so we definitely don't need all of this. This is just way too much stuff. I don't know exactly how much we're going to need, but I think for now, just leaving this little area over here is probably good enough. That's five apple trees. I think that'll do. I also found out something super cool about trees in general. They grow in these little two by two blocks. And if you don't like where the trees are, you can just demolish them and they regrow in a, well, not always in a different location, sometimes in a new location. But yeah, you can kind of determine where the trees are going to go. And so these ones are actually laid out pretty good. But when you're setting up your tree area, you always want to make sure that it's an even number so that the, so that the sprites will fit in the grid. So right now, this is just a waste of space up here because trees aren't going to grow there. So we can just get rid of it for now. Maybe turn it into a road. Maybe pull the road down a little bit and then use this space for something else. I don't know. Anyway, in the last episode, we made some tools. So that should allow us in our research space to start unlocking a permit so that we can go to another island. That's super cool. Okay, that is awesome. Now... Sheep take four squares per one, and then there's a research I saw that here decreases it down to three. So you basically increase the number of sheep by 30%. Or from four to three is like, I don't know if that's 25, increased by 25%. And the other thing I'm noticing is this one smelter can keep up with a lot of iron. And we don't have a lot of iron right now. Oh, there's more over here. Okay, let's get another iron dude going. Wait, what? Iron mine. Why is there walls? <laughs> I must have misclicked. Okay, so let's get another mine going. We're going to need some people to transport our goods. Uh, Where are we here? Come here. Open. Put a worker there. And then they'll make their own road down there, so that's fine. Is there another iron mine somewhere? No, we've only got two. Okay, so we're just going to use those two for now. Oh, I also have to deconstruct all these trees. It's fine to unzone it, but we have to get rid of them all. Okay. Perfect. Look at that. Okay. There's also a cute little button here that says remove withered crops every time you click on it. So you just click there, remove withered crops, and they disappear. It's so good. So there's like a perfect little spot in here. I like to make my wheat farms 4x14. Four uh, sorry, 4x4, four four, which equals 16. Because I think that is just a nice round number. And I'm going to leave these extra few down here because otherwise there's nothing else we can use this space for. But I'm going to try and start using 4x4 grids because I think the maximum, the allowed, um... Is that it? Oh, good. We got the permit. The 
minimum number to have two farmers on a field is 15, I think. So one farmer per 14 squares, even though one farmer, I think, can technically keep up to 16 plots of land. So once I put a 4x4, four four, it only requires one farmer to actually maintain, but I can put two on just so that I, I keep farming at the fastest rate that I can. There shouldn't be much downtime in between it being fully grown and it being harvested that way. I'm, I'm hoping. All right, and the next thing, now that that's done, island permit. I'm assuming probably advanced stockpiles. Allow stockpiles to request goods from other stockpiles. I don't think we need that. Bridges. I'm not sure we need that either. Although bridges? We could use bridges. We can build across some of this water now, hopefully. You know, maybe that's not so bad. Now, there's gotta be a way. What else can we make here? A brewery. It takes hops. Maybe we should start growing some hops. We can't grow hops. Okay. Oh, a pig farm. Okay, a pig farm. Where should we put the pig farm? Maybe... I don't know. Pigs need wheat, so we don't want to get too far away from where the wheat is coming from. I, I think they need wheat. They're going to need food of some description, and I can't grow anything else. Maybe it takes apples. I don't know. Let us... I don't know exactly how big I want this to be. Maybe we just make it... I want to use this space as good as we can. Although I need to leave room up here for clay, so maybe we will come down. Something like... I don't know... 4x8? I think that is a decent starting spot, so we're gonna slap a fence around. Maybe I'll put a gate in the end. There we go. Hang on, what's going on here? There we go. Okay. We'll put a gate around here. We'll put another gate on this side. Because I think there's going to be a road there at some point. And then I think there's a slaughterhouse. Hang on, what do we have here? I should put an animal handler in there. We'll put a trough and a watering trough. Okay, and then something about slaughterhouse. Here we go. What does this say? Slaughter's pig and cows needs one animal pen per animal in the slaughterhouse. Minimum of five by five. So we should stick it close to the pig pen because that's where the animals are going to be coming from. Minimum of five by five. If we do something like that, then we should be able to run a road. A road should go by, I think. Let me make sure I'm not... Okay. We were about to put a road in there. Okay, there we go. So we can have a road that runs by... Um, we can put a door on the top for now. I think that is okay. We'll put the door up here. And then we should probably have another gate in here. Just so that our guys don't have to run around with the pigs. How do I get pigs? There's no food right now. Okay, we'll have to wait for that. So now, what the heck's going on here? Slaughtering bench. It looks like cloth. Slaughtering bench. Okay. Pig pen. So this is where we store the pigs. Meat rack. This is where we store the meat. And a feeding trough I'm not sure why they need a feeding trough 
at the slaughterhouse. Well, we're just killing them. Well, who cares if they starve? Wait. Okay. So now we can make a bridge, which, I mean, I don't know where we do that. Does it just go? Oh, here we go. Bridge. Bridge? It's kind of big. Oh, there we go. I mean, that's not the worst thing I've ever seen. Can they go? Oh, bridge three. I don't think it's going to fit across here. Dang, that would have been cool. Oh, that's the number of tiles. The number in here is the number of tiles it'll go over. So the bridge one goes over one. Yeah. Bridge two. Bridge three will go over three. Okay. So does that mean it'll go over something like this? Yes, it will. Very interesting. Okay. So what do we have left to make now? We can't make the hop yard. The brewery we can't really make without hops. So that's kind of whatever. A shipyard. Build ships to conquer the sea. Okay. Well, that sounds kind of cool. Where do we build that? Oh, we can actually get up to this island now that we have bridges. That's really cool. Okay, okay. We can actually get to all these islands now. There's more stone up there we can get to. Cool. Okay. Where should I build this shipyard? Minimum of five by four. Five by four. I mean, that seems like a decent spot for a shipyard. Put a crane. Put a crate. Put a life boy. Put a pier. Uh-oh. Let's cancel that. I think I need to put the pier there. There we go. Put the life boy in there, wherever it'll fit. Ship roller. I hope this doesn't have to be near water. And then I guess we can just add a bunch more crates. Because I'm expecting we're going to have to make ships here and we're going to need a whole bunch of parts for that. So we'll get that going. Man, we have... How many people do we have? Wait, where did my research go? It doesn't tell me how much research I have anymore. That's weird. Okay. Anyway, what do we want next? More sheep? Less food for the pigs? Um... Okay, we can't do that. It takes spices. What's this? Ooh, that takes 36 iron bars. We're not going to do that right now. Beer we can't do. Spices we can't do. Well, let's just try this one. Allow stockpiles to request goods from other stockpiles. I don't really get that one, but we'll, we'll figure it out here. Also, guys, I found out that these fishing poles, each one, every worker that I have in here can sustain about 24 people-ish. So if I have this fully stocked up, I should almost be able to support 100 people and not have them starve. I won't be making benefits for them, like the clothing, the cider, and the bread, but at least they won't starve. So if I just max this out, we should be able to buy a bunch more workers. I'm thinking something like... 90 well at 24 per we need 96 right that should be the maximum we can sustain right now i think hey wait a minute we can make tea i didn't think this place was fertile for tea i know we definitely can't make spices no we can't make spices but we can make tea Holy cow. Okay. Um, how big is the tea factory? Minimum three by four. So I wonder if we could stick that somewhere. Three by four. If we stick that in here somewhere. 
And then perhaps we could start building tea right beside it. I think that's a good idea. May as well. If we can make it, let's make it. All right. What do we need in here? A china cabinet. A large tea kettle. Output. Let's get a couple outputs. Row of crates. Oh, crap. Okay, we'll cancel that then. Dang, this is huge. Okay, big old roll crates. Let's get that going. Maybe a secondary output. We've already got a worker. And we should have all of that stuff going. Okay, so then the next thing we need, obviously, is tea. Minimum area two by two. One worker tier two. Now, I'm not sure if... I should be doing the same 4x4 four four grids. But I think we're gonna try it. We'll see how it goes. We'll start with 16. We'll see if we if we can keep up with the supply. And if we can't, then I'll add another one right beside it in here. Okay, and we're running out of stone. So I'm gonna have to... I mean, it's not surprising we're running out of stone. I just used a whole bunch to make a bunch more stone roads. But I know we can get up in here to find some more. So maybe what we'll work on here is... Is that a bridge three? Yeah, that's a bridge three. I don't think it'll fit there. No. Nope. So we'll go here with it. We'll just slap down one of these crappy roads for now. And then we can make a new... Uh, stone mine, wherever that is. Stone mine right here. Give them a place to store their goods. Give them an actual mine. And away we go. This thing's not even built and they're just running across. Wait. What? It's... It's not even built. They're just running across an unbuilt bridge. I'm... I mean, whatever. They can do what they want. I... I don't care. I prefer it, honestly. You want to run across that water? You go right ahead. There's also more coal down here, but I don't think we need any more coal right now. <laughs> this is, we'll leave the coal. Man, we really need more iron, though. Holy cow. Jeez Louise, we are not making enough iron. Yeah, this is not good. Hold up. All my tea has withered. Why? Or or has it withered? Does it always say remove withered crops? Oh yeah, it always says that. Okay. So maybe it hasn't withered. Oh no, there it goes. Cool. Alright, so soon we are gonna have tea. Which I think we have to upgrade our market. We have to upgrade our market. Foundations. We need some more foundations. There is an item in here. I saw market tier one. Isn't there? Oh, you know where I found it? It's in the actual market here. So we have to build a market tier two stall. And that should start giving the secondary products that we need to our tier two citizens. Which is good because right now, this stuff's all required for them, but they don't have any of their extra stuff right now. Even though we're making some of it. Or, I mean, we will be. They need tea? What else do they need? I forget. Here we go. Optional sausage we're making. Beer we're not making yet. Spices we're not making yet. Tea we are making, or we will be making very soon. Oh man, that's exciting. Okay. So we gotta get this thing running so that we can make a boat. And I think right now we're just kind of waiting on stone. Yes, we're waiting on stone, but that should speed up here soon. We now have two mines going. Perfect. Oh, soon I'm gonna be a big boy. I got my pull-ups. Yeah. Okay, we're getting some stone stuff built here. I think most of our roads, well, I don't, I shouldn't say that. We have a lot more roads left to build. 
But I think some of these roads are required, guys, because our guys are running so far. Every little bit of speed that I can give them is better. 20% movement speed bonus. They can... Yeah, like, that's just so much better. Oh no, the piggy. He got turned into sausage. Oh. So once they get full grown, hang on. Ready for slaughter in 14 days. Ready for slaughter in 12 days. 27 days. Okay, so once they get full grown, I guess they come down here and they just stand here in the slaughterhouse and they wait until it's their turn to get chopped up. Kind of morbid but i mean that's life guys that's the way she goes so oh uh, man yeah that's what you get for being at the bottom of the food chain yikes okay anyway moving on how is our boat the place going oh hang on now what do we have here build a small ship build a merchant ship build a large ship should we just go straight to large Oh, wait, no. Requires large ship research. Requires merchant ship research. All right, so all we'll be able to make for now is a small ship. Kind of sad. But it's all we can do, so let's just... Let's just do it. Oh my god, it's kind of cute. <laughs> cool. Oh, look at that. How quaint. Oh, we have a boat. A brand new ship. Brilliant. Now you can start looking for more islands. Would you like some help in settling an island? Sure. You'll have to build several zones, so you have to bring a lot of wood and stone. Sail your ship to the harbor to start loading. Okay. Okay, that's what the harbor is for. Interesting. To exchange goods at the harbor, you can click on the goods. Okay. How do I get them out? How do I get them out? I get it. Oh, there we go. You'll also need workers on the new island. Luckily, they won't die of starvation while on the ship. You can onboard workers by selecting a ship near the coast and clicking on the worker slot. All right, load them up. Load them up, guys. Okay, what's going on here? We need a whole bunch of wood. We need a whole bunch of stone. Oh, boy. Okay, well, we don't have... Well, we actually have tons of wood. Let's load it up. Wood, stone, workers. And I guess we should bring some fish so that they don't starve. Are these all tier one workers? How do I know what tier they are? If they're tier two, they're gonna starve, damn it. Oh crap. Guys, we can't take fish and enough wood and enough stone. We can't take it all. So, we're gonna have to leave the food behind? That seems like a bad idea. Well, and just doing what it told us to. Okay, to grow, to grow spices, you'll need an island in the southern hemisphere. Alright, well, let's just... Can I click on the map? Does that work? Hang on, let me see if the map works. Well, it seems to have worked. Okay. Goodbye, boat. Fun voyage. Oh, no. A heat wave. Remove, remove, remove. Remove. Oh, my God. Oh, we found another island. Oh, my God. It's huge. Can we grow stuff here? Tea leaves. Iron. Oh, we can get so much iron here. Gold. Clay. Grapes. Oh, we found another island. Oh, this must be where we grow spices. 
Okay, new islands automatically show up on your map, and you can see which fertilities and resources can be found. Understood? What's this? Cocoa beans. Got it. Growing spices here isn't possible. Keep ex- Wait, what? It says I can grow spices here. Cotton. Gold. Oh, I can't. Wait, what? What's what's going on here? Fertility required. Build on another island. How? Oh, you're growing so fast. Oh, this one? Soon you'll be a big boy. Is this a good one? Can I build spices here? What? Where do we build spices? Oh my god, diamonds. Yo, diamonds! Okay, can we grow spices here? No! I can't grow spices anywhere. Hang on, let's go check this big spot over here. Okay. Here we go. I, I guess we can grow spices here. Finally. Oh my god, I thought we were in trouble there for a second. Okay. What do we got here? Now create a harbor and put your ship within reach. Unload the goods by clicking the ship's goods. Okay, create a harbor. Zone. Zone. Tier 1. Harbor. Har harbor, please. There we go. Falcon Island has no complete market. That's fine. Let's drop some wood. Ten stone. Okay, now we need to offboard some workers here so they can build this thing. And then I think we have to put them right back on the ship. Because if we don't, they might perish. <laughs> I didn't bring any food. Okay, so next thing we need is a market because that's where they're gonna eat from and requires a minimum four by four area let's put it i don't know let's just put it down here for now stone and wood okay market one we don't need a market two why can't i put this in here Oh, does it need flooring? I think it needs flooring. There we go. Game is paused. I didn't mean to pause. I meant to kick some people out. So let's kick all of this. There we go. Kick these people out. Get them going here. They're going to have to build a market. And then I'm going to put them back on the boat. Oh, we can actually just make a fissure already here. Oh, that's a great idea, game. I didn't even think about it. I was going to go all the way back there to get them fish, but we can just literally build a fishing zone here for them. I don't know if I have enough materials for all this. I might have screwed up by making too many storages. Okay. I think... Oh, we need wood foundation under this? I did not know that. Okay, we'll build one of those. So we're probably gonna need a tree zone in this new base. And a lumber yard, because it seems like everything takes a lot of water. Not a lot of water, sorry. A lot of wood. So I'm just gonna set up a small little area here. Can we bring more villagers open market oh we can just hire workers and have more workers here what a great great system okay now i'm assuming we probably can't grow wheat here so we won't be able to make bread we'll have to ship bread here if we want it which is kind of annoying but we could just keep tier one villagers here and they don't need bread they just need fish so, yeah, I mean, that's probably not the worst. And then all we have to do is set up a woodcutting place. 
which I think we're gonna do like an 8x8 if I can fit it. Yeah, 8x8 will fit right in there. We'll get a worker in there, and we're gonna get a wood cutter so that we can start making wood. And then we can start finally getting some spices to ship back home. See now, let me show you what I was talking about before. I don't like where these ones are because they're kind of not lined up in the grid pattern. So I'm just going to delete them and then they regrow and they're back in the grid. So perfect. Now we're going to have this space full of two by two trees. Perfect. We're going to need someone working in there. We've already got someone working in there. Good. And we're going to need a little spot. Can I mine stone here? Man, I really hope I can mine stone here. <gasps> There's diamonds here as well. I don't see stone though. Oh, that's going to be a bit of a problem. Okay, so it says to unlock trade between your islands, you have to complete the new harbor. So let's just get a worker in there. We should have completed it. One out of three in harbor. Ensure you have stockpiles in your harbors for the three goods. Bread, cider, and simple clothes. But... Why? Oh, you know what? I bet spices require tier two villagers to actually operate. And all of these withered crops. What a pain in the butt. How's our tea coming along? It's not. Why is it not? Oh, does it take water? Oh, it takes water. I knew. I knew I was going to need these wells for something. I just didn't know. I saw in here there's a well. Yeah, right here. So we'll stick it. Minimum two by three. We'll stick it right here. And it needs a worker and a well. Okay. So now we should actually start to be able to make tea. Now what we have to do here is get some more stockpiles going. And we need one. Oh, I gotta wait for them to build it. We need one to be bread. We need one to be clothes. And what's the other? Oh, cider. Clothes, cider, wheat. We probably don't need fish in here. Since fish we can get anywhere. So maybe we should make it stone. Oh, we've already got a stone one. Well, now we have two. <laughs> I don't know. Man, this person has the worst job. Just stand there, bucket water all day. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, sorry, I was getting distracted. Let's see here. We need, what do we need here? Request from other stockpiles. Limit deliveries to ships. Okay, we want to change this to cider. We want to change this to bread. Is it bread? Yep, and change this to simple clothes. We may as well also request stone. Okay, open the trade map in the management panel. Trade map. Okay, what is this? New route. On the map, you can see all islands you've discovered and the harbors you have. The list of routes shows all routes with the number of harbors and ships. Create a new route. Add a ship. Add the harbors you want to ship goods between. In the next step, we'll set up the goods. Harbor. New route. Haman to Falcon. Okay, so how do I do this? Add Harbor, Heyman, Add Harbor, Falcon. Pick up. 
Uh, bread. Clothes. Wait, bread. What is this? Oh, bread. Set up the road so that bread, cider, and simple clothes are shipped to your new island. Okay, bread. Cider. What is this? Oh, interesting. Okay, cool. Bread, cider, simple clothes. Deliver. Bread. Cider. Simple clothes, and then from here, we want to take, um, what do we want to take? Hops? Not hops. Spices? And that's probably it, actually, right? Oh, maybe iron. Spices? Iron? I think that's good. And then we'll deliver spices. And iron. Should I send raw iron? No, I should send. I should send manufactured iron, right? Why would I send raw iron? There we go. We'll send full bars back. Make sure the ship doesn't already carry goods that might conflict with your trade route. Add ship. The Lewin. Okay, we just got to make sure everything is set. So what do we want to do? Load until... What are my settings? Load set quantity. Load until ship has the set quantity or the harbor is empty. Load until the harbor has the set quantity remaining or the ship is full. See, the problem with this now I'm seeing is if it comes here... We have to we have to unload until the ship is empty. Right? We have to. Or it's not or it's gonna be broken. I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna work. It might be a little bit broken. We're gonna have to play with it, but it should work for now. So oh my god. It just it just books it. It just it goes. It. That's it. You're a trader now. Soon you'll be able to grow spices. You should consider setting up another trade route to ship them back. Yeah, see, that's what I was just thinking. Um, it's gonna... They're gonna end up being full, so it's not gonna work. Ugh. Okay, it's fine. We can set up a second boat. Look at that. Here comes all of our tier 2 resources. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do first thing is actually just stop that. Can I edit this? Let's close. Um, how do I just deselect? There we go. Save. Okay, so that guy is only taking stuff from Heyman to Falcon. And that's all he's doing. Which is fine. And all the goods are off now. And he's off on his way to go get more. That is so cool. Oh my god. Okay, guys, I think we're going to wrap this episode up here. In the next one, what I want to do is start manufacturing on this island. So we're going to get a... Um, well, I guess we can start mining some iron. We can start mining some coal. We can start doing stuff like that. But what I really want to do is start making spices and get in on something like that. We definitely are going to have to make tools here because the buildings require maintenance. So we're going to need to make tools and we have the iron and the coal here that we're going to need to do that. So that is fine. Perfect. Absolutely perfect, guys. I hope you're liking the series so far. If you are, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up on this video. Drop me a comment below. Let me know how you're liking everything. Is there something? Oh, wait, I just realized we found another island. It's very small, but I mean, we, we, there's one there. There might actually be one up over here too. Anyway, that's where we're going to leave it for today. Hope you guys liked it. I'll see you next time.